Today I'm back at it again with another part of one of your guys' favorite tutorials of mine, which is the poses tutorial. So let's get started! Just before we jump into the tutorial, I advise you guys check out both my body tutorial and the first poses tutorial, just so you can get a better idea of what we uh, work through already and, you know, just practice a little bit more um, before jumping straight into this one. But yeah, let's get started finally. So the way I like to approach my body drawings is that I always like to divide them in shapes and in lines, kind of, uh, just so I can get the better understanding of the proportions and just so I can see everything coming up together in a proportionate manner, if that makes sense. So the point that I'm always starting my drawings off of is the head, because that kind of sets the direction for any further elements and that is my kind of base. So for the head, I'm always starting off with an oval shape and then I'm moving straight into the torso part of the drawing. And in this case, I'm usually uh, always drawing some kind of rectangular shape that already is bent in the direction that I want my body uh, to stand towards. And then for the lower part of the body, I'm drawing the identical shape, but it's just gonna be flipped. So the uh, smaller side is gonna be on top and then the wider part is gonna be uh, the bottom. So that's my kind of base that I'm always starting off from. It really helps me out to set the proportion and the directions. Once I'm pretty set with that, I always like to mark where the hands and the legs are gonna be, but I'm not really putting too much focus on that just yet. I'm just marking that with just straight simple lines just to get an idea of the placement of uh, all of the things. Once I see that everything looks pretty okay, I'm moving on to adding the volume to my skeleton, let's say, my geometrical sort of um, shapes, and just to, you know, once more see whether everything is looking proportionate. And I hear the advice that I can give you if you're not comfortable enough to draw bodies like that right away is just to practice different parts of the body, practice the um, skeleton, let's say, and how it works uh, just before you go in with such drawings that I'm showing you today. Because I know that it takes practice and it takes time to be so quick um, with drawing your body drawings, but yeah, just don't get discouraged. Don't feel disappointed if you don't manage to pull off such drawing right away. I've practiced for ages and uh, it all takes time, so you're gonna be good. Just, you know, stay patient. But yeah, once I'm pretty happy with my construction and how my sketch is looking, I'm taking my mechanical pencil and I'm going over everything. And basically I'm just marking the most crucial places. I'm doing this sort of outline for the body shape. And yeah, this is pretty much all. It was quite simple, wasn't it? For the second pose, I'm gonna apply the exact same method as I did in the first drawing. Uh, I'm starting off with the head, the torso and the hips part. And here, because my body is gonna be uh, a little bit more dynamic than in the first pose, I also like to draw this uh, sort of curved line across my body so that it kind of mimics the uh, spine. And this also really helps me out to get the proportions right and get the uh, direction in which my body is going to be bent, uh, if you can even say that. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope that that makes sense. And the sort of line that I'm drawing as an indication of a spine is really, really helpful, especially when you're drawing more dynamic poses. Um, yeah, I really advise you guys trying it out um, because that's also the kind of base for your geometrical shapes that you're gonna be placing uh, kind of on top of that. So um, yeah, that's quite important, I would say. And once I have my base pretty correct, I'm adding the arms and the legs like I did in the previous drawing. And here with this pose, since it's more dynamic and more complicated than the first one, I need to make sure that I keep the balance of the pose. So uh, the leg that is kind of taking all of the weight of the body, in this case is the leg that we see on the right, um, needs to be kind of in the center. Uh, not really in the center center, but it kind of needs to balance out the weight that we're missing on the second leg. Um, it's really hard for me to explain, but I really hope that you guys understand what I'm saying by just looking at the pose that I'm drawing. 
So here we need to make sure that uh, the body we're drawing doesn't feel like it's gonna collapse or doesn't feel like it's flimsy or anything. We need to make sure that we feel like she's or he's standing on the ground and that this pose is pretty stable. And with that being said, also in this pose, it's really important to balance not only the leg situation, but also the hip uh, against the shoulders. Because as you can tell, one shoulder is more up uh, and the other one is kind of leaning more down. And then the hip, the opposite part, the opposite parts of the hip, uh, one hip is upper than the other hip. I really, really hope that you guys understand me. So yeah, this pose is definitely quite tricky, but I think that once you get the hang of it and maybe look at some references, maybe look at yourself in the mirror, how um, you stand in such pose, then, you know, within some practice, you should be fine. And then the last pose of this exercise is gonna be, I would say, even more tricky than the second one we just drew, uh, because this pose is gonna have uh, the legs crossed and this is gonna make the situation quite tricky for us. But nevertheless, I'm starting off with the head, my shoulder, torso uh, situation, and then the hips, just to mark all the proportions and all the base for further elements. Here, the balance of our silhouette is going to be crucial because in this pose, it's really easy to make the whole body feel like it's gonna fall, it's gonna collapse. So we really, really need to pay attention to that balance and uh, we need to make sure that uh, our body looks correct. Because the leg that we're gonna be drawing in front, which is gonna be crossing the other leg, uh, this leg won't have any weight on it. So the whole uh, balance and the whole weight of the body is gonna be on the leg that hides behind the first leg. <laughs> and we need to make sure that this uh, other leg in relation to the rest of the body is gonna be able to kind of um, take all of the weight of the body. And uh, this is gonna be the leg that is gonna be very significant and will set the balance for the whole drawing. So with that being said, we can't draw this leg too further to the back and we can't draw it too uh, little to the back. <laughs> we kind of need to find that perfect balance just by looking, for example, at references or just by seeing how you stand in such a pose. But once we're pretty sure that our pose is correct and everything looks um, just, you know, proportionate, we're ready to outline it with our mechanical pencil and give this sketch a little bit more life. All right, so now that we've practiced on some standing poses on more, let's say, easy aspect of body drawings, we're gonna get into more intense stuff. And here I'm gonna show you the reference picture that I'm using because I think that this is gonna make the whole process more clear for you guys. And also you'll be able to see my workflow while I'm using references. But here the rule, the, the process of constructing the drawing is gonna be identical to the one uh, when I was doing the standing up poses because I'm also gonna be starting with the head, with the spine sort of line and the geometrical rectangular figures for the um, body construction. Here, nothing really changes. I'm always using the same concept. So once you get the hang of it, you're gonna be pretty good to go to construct any sort of pose, I think. But here what makes this pose quite tricky is not only that it's a sitting pose, but also there's a little bit of perspective going on. So there are gonna be things, the parts of the body that are gonna be more exposed to us and the ones that are gonna be leaning to the back kind of. So, so the perspective is going into the equation and you need to be mindful of that. But here with such poses, the advice that I think is the most important is please take your time to do the construction and don't uh, draw, let's say the whole drawing, starting off just from one element and build the rest out of it. Work on all of the elements uh, at the same time. Make sure everything is proportionate. Make sure that all of your construction lines are laid down in a good and proper manner. Don't rush into, you know, coloring and doing the outline right away. Take your time, 
and uh, finesse the sketch because if you make any mistakes at this point you'll still be able to correct them and you know go back and forth and fix something but if you go right in with the outline you won't be able to you know manipulate that later on and all of the anatomical mistakes will show later on if you put the color on it and all that stuff yeah it will be pretty visible so please please don't rush and here once I see that my sketch, my base is so pretty well done and I'm happy with all the proportions, I'm moving on to adding the outline with my mechanical pencil and here I'm gonna be a little bit more fancy and a little bit more detailed compared to the previous standing up poses because I'm just gonna add a little bit of like jeans and outfit if you will. I'm also gonna quickly sketch out her face with the hair just to you know add a little bit of spice to that drawing. And now for the last pose, we're gonna be drawing again another sitting pose, but in a different sort of perspective and in a different sort of setting. Because we're gonna be seeing this girl from the front, but we're gonna be drawing her like she's sitting in the corner, which also kind of is visible on the reference that we're gonna be uh, using for this particular sketch. But here again, the same kind of rules. I'm starting off with the head, the torso situation and the hips. And here the most crucial part will be the ratio between the torso head situation and the legs because in this sort of setting the legs are gonna be uh, pulled towards us a little bit more so they're gonna feel like they are a little bit bigger um, quotation mark <laughs> um, so we need to be mindful of that and we need to give that illusion of the legs being just closer to us but we definitely don't want to make them gigantic at the same time so this is very very tricky and this is what we're going to be focusing on uh, during our sketching phase also another difficult thing in this sort of pose in this sort of drawing is the thigh situation because as you can tell in this pose the thighs are quite hidden and here comes the foreshortening sort of situation and also perspective so here you need to pay a lot of attention to that you still want to make the thighs visible and you still want them to be kind of there but uh, you don't want to draw too much of them because they're gonna be kind of hidden um, behind the, the legs that we're gonna be drawing in the front I'm even confusing myself with my own explaining, but I really hope that my explanation along with uh, what you can see uh, me doing in my sketchbook is clear enough that you guys will understand what to do and you will understand my process. And in those tutorials that I'm doing, I really want to focus on showing you guys what I'm doing and uh, my thinking process and my, you know, step by step sort of way of creating drawing. So, even if my explanation is not good enough for you sometimes, I really hope that just by seeing what I'm doing, you'll be able to, you know, get the hang of uh, my drawing process. And once I'm pretty happy and content with what my base sketch looks like, I'm moving on to adding some details with mechanical pencil and wrapping the whole drawing up. And yeah, that will be all for another part of my poses tutorial. I really hope that this one was helpful for you guys and that you got to know uh, some more tips and tricks from me. Um, let me know if you would like me to continue on with my drawing tutorials and what kind of tutorial would you like to see next. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you all and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. I'm just going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must For me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut, everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now